Hey Clash, we have two new equipments for the Royal Champion and the question now is, what equipment should you upgrade first and, well, what are the best equipments for every single strategy? First off, we have the new Hawk Rider Puppet. This one is going to unlock on the Blacksmith building level 7 and when activating this ability, you're going to generate a ton of Hawk Riders and the hero boost stats are total hit point increase and the health recovery is going to be increased as well when using the ability. On top of that, we have another new equipment, which is called the Haste Vial. This is going to unlock on the Blacksmith bidding level 8. And when using this active ability, your Royal Champion is turning into a machine gun or something like that. And is non-stop firing those spears. The hero boost stats are incredible as well with bonus damage and more attack speed. Now the question is... What are the best equipments now for the Royal Chamber to use, depending on every single strategy? And if you want to boost your progress and want to buy any in-game offers, or for example the Gold Pass, make sure to support your favorite content creator out there. If you want to support me and this channel, it's code ITSU. I really appreciate that, but now let's dive into the ranking. Since this ranking is heavily depending on the pet you can bring with the Royal Champion, I have one ranking for Town of 16 and one ranking for Town of 15. The reason for that is the pet which you can unlock on Town of 16 which is the Fox. The Fox and the Royal Champion they are made for each other. The Fox gives the Royal Champion safety and this now means with the equipments we can go all in on the damage. Which means we're going in with the equipments which are giving our Royal Champion the most damage output possible. And this is the Haste Vial and the Royal Gem. Both of those equipments are giving bonus damage as a hero boost. With the attack speed of the Haste Vial, this is overall in 60%, around about 60% damage increase from no equipments to this stage. Which is incredible. I mean 60% more damage... That's mind-blowing, right? And we're not even talking about the active ability. Because with the active ability, you can pretty much take down everything in front of the Royal Champion with the crazy attack speed. On top of that, you have the best equipment for health recovery on top of that if your Royal Champion eventually is going to drop low. This is turning your Royal Champion into a complete monster and it's going to take down so much of the opposite base and that's the problem as well since the pet is always the same for any strategy that's the fox with the royal champion the equipments don't really have to change either and that is kind of the boring part of the royal champion i guess because for channel 16 the best combination is for every single strategy the same it's the haste vial with the royal gem this combination is just the best it doesn't matter if it's with dragons and everything or with hog riders with Root Riders, it doesn't matter, the best combination is this one. Another fun synergy though I really want to highlight is the synergy between the Royal Gem and the Hog Rider Puppet. Both of them are giving incredible base stats, on top of that both of them are giving health recovery. If you combine those two together, they're overall recovering up to 90% and more of the hit points of your Royal Champion, which can be really, really strong as well. So if you're looking for a plan B combination, this in my opinion is the second best combination, which is really good as well. But as I have already said, this is for Town of 16. Let's take a look at Town of 15. For channel 15 and below, this ranking is going to change quite a bit. The reason can be found in the pet synergies with some of those equipments. So for channel 15, you have Diggy as a pet for the Royal Champion. On channel 14, you're using Lassi. Those two pets are not synergizing well whatsoever with the Haste Vial. The reason is the same reason why you do not want to combine the Haste Vial with the Hog Rider Puppet. As you can tell and as you can see right now, when you're activating the active ability, Lassi Diggy or the Hog Riders cannot really follow all of the damage output from this haste vial and they're kind of useless just following the Royal Champion while the Royal Champion is kind of one-shotting everything. And that is a big problem when it comes down to the synergy. This is why I would highly recommend for channel 15 and below the Hog Rider Puppet with the Royal Gem. If you're thinking about the future and you want to have the strongest equipments then for channel 16, the one big recommendation I would go for is upgrade the Royal Gem and then on Town 16 you can upgrade the Haste Vial since they are the best combination. If you're going to spend some time on Town of 14 and Town of 15, 
best thing you can possibly do is upgrade the Hawk Rider Puppet and the Royal Gem as they are synergizing all really well together. Another thing is why I think the Hawk Rider Puppet is a really bad investment when it comes down to a later town hall level is that the Hawk Rider Puppet is going to fall off in power quite a bit. Because on town of 14 already, you can have a maxed out Hawk Rider Puppet. Which means it's spawning maxed Hog Riders. This Hog Rider level is connected to the equipment and not to your laboratory. And this means you have maxed Hog Rider on Town of 14, which is crazy. They're really powerful there. But a maxed Hog Rider on Town of 16, on the other side, does not feel as special anymore. There is so much splash, those hogs go down so quick. So this Hog Rider puppet is stronger on the lower town level and gets weaker and weaker and weaker as you're progressing on. So for the lower town level, town of 15 and town of 14, for example, the Hog Rider puppet with the Royal Gem is my recommendation. But as you're progressing higher, again, we're getting back to the Haste Vial and the Royal Gem. Since we had some bug fixes and balance changes to some of those other equipments, let's do a quick rundown of King queen and warden and what the best equipments are for them for the barbarian king not much has changed we have pretty much still the combination of the epic gauntlet equipment with the rage vial don't worry the epic king equipment is going to come back in the trader for gems so you will be able to buy it if you have missed the event and we were not able to unlock it the only combination or the only strategy where you're not using this combination is the air spam, like the dragon type attacks. For this one, I would highly recommend the epic equipment, the gauntlet, with either the earthquake boots or the vampire stash. All of those equipments and combinations are really, really nice. Let's move on though for the Archer Queen. For the Archer Queen, we had a couple of changes for the overall ranking. For air and ground spam, the best combination is the healer puppet with the frozen arrow. Since you have so many spells to protect your queen and she is staying behind all of those hit points anyways, well, you don't really need the invisibility vial. You just need to have it if you're not really feeling confident in protecting your queen with spells like freezes or invisibility spells, then you might want to run the healer puppet with the invisibility vial. Both of those combinations work great, but if you want to optimize your strategy, the Healer Puppet with the Frozen Arrow is the way to go. There were no changes to the Smash, Queen Charge or Super Archer Blip attacks, but there were again some changes for the Hero Dives. In Hero Dives, pros tend to use a lot the Invisibility Vial with the Healer Puppet. This combination seems to be the best right there, but again, if you have the Frozen Arrow upgraded and not the Healer Puppet, you can use this combination as well with the Invisibility Vial and the Frozen Arrow. But now, let's move on to the Warden equipments. For the Warden, I reworked the entire ranking. Because I felt like it was not really strategy dependent, like if you do a Queen Short, a Super Archer Blimp, the only important thing was the troop you combined the Warden with. And this is why I have now a list of troops and recommendation of the equipment which synergize super well. Yes, I know, we have a lot of shortcuts in this one, but I will explain every single category. We're starting at the top with Root Rider and Dragon Riders. The best thing you can use there, in my opinion, is the Eternal Tome with the Healing Tome. You could replace the Healing Tome with the Rage Gem as well. All of those two combinations work really great with this troop. The next category, we have Super Boulder Smash or its Heightened Smash attacks. For both of those attack strategies, the Eternal Tome with the with the Life Gem or with the Rage Gem work really great together. A lot of times you're really missing out on some hit points. This is why I would personally always prefer the Life Gem variation with the Eternal Tome. The next one is going to be Recall Super Bowlers, Galactic Dragons or for example Super Dragons or Dragon and Dragon Riders. All of those strategies have this equipment in common, which means the Eternal Tome with the Healing Tome is the best combination. Another combination which can work as well and is going to do quite well is the Eternal Tome with the Life Gem. Both things can work, but I would personally prefer the Healing Tome with the Eternal Tome. The next one, we have Super Witch Smash. We have a huge Hero Dive, which could be like a follow-up after a Super Archer Blimp if you're playing with Super Barons, for example. The next one is Super Archer Blimp as well with Hydra. 
The Warden equipment I would recommend for this one is the Eternal Zone with the Rage Gem, as you have no spells left anymore in most of those cases with the Super Archer entries and Super Witches. The only problem of them is time, and the Rage Gem will do quite well with that. A nice replacement otherwise might be the Healing Zone, as healing is always a nice thing to have for the troops, but the Rage Gem is for sure the better option. Next one is all of those smaller troops, which means Lalo, which means Hog Rider, Super Hog Riders, or for example the Hybrid where you have Miners with Hog Riders together. The best combination for this one is for sure the Eternal Tome with the Life Gem. Having all of those smaller groups of troops and having the bonus hit points on them is a game changer. You could replace that as well if you're not facing too much damage and more like damage uh, damage in a little bit like more consistent damage then the healing tome can be replaced or can replace that life gem for the warden but one thing you can tell the eternal tome is always the best combination or the best option the best equipment for the warden it is pretty much one of the best equipments in the game i think only the barbarian king is really close to this Otherwise, that's pretty much my ranking for the Royal Champ, for the Archer Queen, Barbarian King and Warden. And let me know what you think of all of those rankings. If you would do something different and make sure that you're getting those upgrades in with those ores. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you guys back tomorrow with the next video. Until then, see ya and bye bye.